Hello, fifth graders. Welcome back to math. Again, what I'd like you to do is to write it in your notebook sideways. So you're going to copy all of this into your notebook. Press pause. All right, now that you have this all written down, let's do some more examples. Okay, today it should be a little bit easier than yesterday because the numbers are there for you. So take a look here at our first example. Our example says 8,000 plus 200 plus 3 ones. Write that in standard form. So we already have the word written out for you, 8,000. So you look up here, you look for the thousands, and you write number 8 there. Two hundreds. So look for the two hundreds. So here's hundreds. And we're going to write two. And it says three ones. So right here it says ones, and we are going to write three. You'll notice here we did not have any tens. So if we had no tens, do you remember what number to put there? If you said zero, you are correct. And remember, third number, one, two, three. And that's the third number from the decimal here. So if we were to write this in standard form, we would write 8,203. Don't forget that zero because it makes a big difference. All right, next. Next example, it gives you the standard form. Now it wants you to write how many thousands, how many hundreds, how many tens, and how many ones. So let's take a look here. Thousands. This is the thousands position right after that um, comma right there. So remember, one, two, three. If you're looking up here, this is where the comma goes. One, two, three. This is where the comma goes. So there are four thousands, hundreds, there are zero hundreds, there are nine tens, and nine ones. So that's how we would fill it out. So again, use the rest of these lines to help you while you're in IXL. Use your paper. If you have any questions, give me a call. You will be looking at Math IXL, 5th grade, letter A, number 2. Get started. Bye.